Hey guys, so we're back with the dog has a default sit at the gate. I didn't ask it to do it. And they will develop default sits. You have to choose whether you're going to reward it or not. I'm going to just tell you that and understand that that's not that advanced of a behavior. <laughs> you know, you're going to be limited. So I, I think you people should. And Skylar's not supposed to be coming out here. I'm going to have to talk. Don't let me forget him, Mandy. Message me later. Make sure. Okay, I'm going to bring... This is probably risky. Maybe I shouldn't do it. Just so I can bring the actual key to that lock, but I'm not sure where the other one is, so if I lose it. All right, so I'm just adding this German Shepherd that he doesn't know. And if I just got out here and walked around and said, well, he's not distracted right now, that, that doesn't help anything. You've got to have something that's going to draw the dog away from you. Yeah, if you said, hey, yeah, he brings me everything. Yay. If you don't have any ability to get the dog to move away from you, you again, you've got to be creative. That's why we're pro trainers, you know, because we've got ideas. We can come up with things and we can get animals to do things. You know, there's no, you've got to be the one that's not setting up the failing exercises all the time. Because all of these are going to go straight to a platform. That was the very first day. He's probably going to... He's going to take off after that shepherd at some point, probably. She's kind of giving him the... And they need to do that, too. They, if you said, well, what do they... You know, what do they need as far as environmentally... It, 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 understanding there's individuals that you're indifferent to. You know, not that we're reacting to every individual that comes into our universe, which is... If you're there, Mandy, that's Parker. We're reacting to every single thing. There's no non-reacting. Everything's getting a reaction. So, hi, Linnea. Anyway, girl, please let me know how the training's going. Well, it's hard to get started. It's hard. All right, so I'm just looking. Oh, look at Molly. Oh, she's awful. Oh, look at her go. All right, so I'm going to do my silent recall. Oh, this is around where the picture is. Okay, hang on. Picture's around here somewhere. I don't even really remember where. That's why I better not hide that key. If I don't remember where and he doesn't find it, we're in trouble. Okay, I can see it from here. Uh-oh, look, look, there's a rabbit right there. Oh, no, God, no. See it? Right there. Oh, he gone, he gone. Oh, they saw him, too. Oh, Molly saw it. Look, Molly's going after it. Oh, don't go in there, Molly. Don't go in those bushes, Molly. You don't know what you could run into. Okay, now I don't see it anymore. Oh, no, I do see it now. Okay, so the training's just on hold. Okay, that's best girl. Don't try to have anyone around there. Uh... Like Paul, try to take up the training while you're gone. Oh yeah, Molly's disappeared into the bushes now. The rabbit was right there though. All right, so they're both right by the picture. She's kind of getting in my, yeah, he might've smelled it. Oh, he found it. Yay. Yay. <laughs> he's a very special dog, very special dog. All right, so I'm gonna try to get him to default to the down. And he's got that little bit of jumping still. It's lingering. Yay. And just slowly get rid of it. All right, so what I need to do is we need to just go along, and then I've got this, you know, and if, if it's practical application. That's why you don't want to throw their toys off in the... If you're going to do it, do it as practical application. All right, look, I'm going to drop this phone because that's something to make sure he doesn't see me. No, Molly's on the hunt now. All right, look, I'm going to drop that phone right there. That's pretty hard. Okay, and then I got... Um, what else have I got? I brought the mini remote control, but... Oh, I know. I got this. All right, so this is, you know... Oh, this is the equivalent of the heavy metal pipe. That I want to put... i to make sure they don't see it. Oh, look at Molly. See, that's where the rabbit went, though. Their, their little home is back there. I'm sure there's obvious little trails that they can smell that they go along. Oh, crap. <laughs> he said, yay. <laughs> that 
That's how close he's watching, Mama. <laughs> yeah, so much for that plan. All right, see if we can get the default down. He has to fight the urge to go up and then lay down. Okay, that didn't work. Then he's going to go back and look again. All right, you know what? I could probably, I can't get this thing open to even put new batteries in it. I gotta figure out how to open it. It's probably a pretty bright flashlight. Okay, I'm gonna go. He's pretty much my little butler, though. He's he's looking for, you know, just looking at him causes him to lay down. Me. Me. Um. All right, come on. Let's go this way so he doesn't find the phone yet. Now that's big rabbit country in there, too. Oh, yeah. He keeps a pretty close eye on me. I've got to be pretty sly if I want to drop it. Okay, he definitely didn't hear that. Ah, let's just go this way a little ways. Off on the little green trail. All oh, the little... Oh, it's just like a little fantasy land. Little purple flowers and sprouting up. Sure, that's a dangerous invasive vine, but still. All right, so I'm already thinking, what do I have ahead here? We're probably gonna run for the water. And I, a certain percentage of time, need to practice stopping them. Oh, look at Molly. Uh-oh, uh-oh, she saw one, she saw one. Oh, here's my chance, here's my chance. Oh, he's gonna bring me that beer can. Hey, now he's after Molly. Here we go. Casper! Yay. If you said, what was that? That was my Nick on 25. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. You have to understand, it's, it's one one hundredth of a second. So pop, pop, pop is three one hundredths of a second. Or is it tenths? No, oh, it's milliseconds. It's one one hundredth. I don't know anything. Oh, you know what? If you said, what does he remember? I was thinking about this fish thing too, Mike. If you said, what is really imprinting his memory for that fish? The smell, the smell. And so I think that's why if you're not using food, oh boy, here we go. Casper! That was my Nick. Yay! Solo! Solo! Oh God, she's almost gonna bring it too. Let's get the hell out of here. So I think we have to say to ourselves, that's, that's why you're using food too. If you said, if you said these dogs of yours, if we interviewed them, and when they said the impulse and everything running, that that food and the smell of the food and it was not part of that memory. I think, oh God, they'd say, oh, that was the biggest part. Oh, I couldn't wait to get there. The taste, the savory taste of the tasty treat. You know what I mean? I'll tell you what I remember. Places I went like Norwoods where I love the food. <laughs> so I think we have to factor that in. We're using, you know, sight, sound, and taste too. Because that's why that dog remembers that dead fish. It doesn't remember it because of the way it looked, even though it was white. It doesn't remember it because it was moving around, because it was already dead. And the only reason it remembers it is because of the smell. So, yeah, that's what I was thinking of. And shoe bottom woke me up in the middle of the night. Oh, God, Skylar. Where the hell is Skylar? All right, so we're, we're coming up on... But yeah, that, that was good because if you said, when did you do your Nick? And I was probably on about 25, right when he was right by the fish. And if you said, what did that do? It drove him back in my direction. It, it wasn't me asking him to come to me. I drove him back in my direction with the Nick. And that's what you're doing with the pager. It, because if, if you're doing it as, all right, the cell phone's around here somewhere. Uh, that's why I suggest you only use props. Not real. Uh, you'll be able to tell if he gets a whiff of it. I think maybe now I'm going to do my little thing. This is what I do when, when something's lost and he needs to start looking now. It's here somewhere. Uh, but yeah, I think we need to take that. People that don't want to use food, you're, you're not getting any of it. You don't want to use food. You don't want to use the pager. You don't want to use movement. You want to use a line. You want a stationary handler that doesn't move around. You're not going to get this result. If you said, yes, we are, I'd say, show me. All right, let's go back this way. I forgot where I put the phone. I think I put this flashlight over here, though. 
<laughs> you see why I have to get these dogs trained for this stuff. I think I dropped the flashlight over here somewhere. Let's see if he can find it. Yeah, I kind of just look around. Maybe, maybe that's the clue. Act like you're looking for something. Okay, I do see it now. Okay. Act like you're looking for something instead of looking at them. He's getting an idea now. I think just after a certain amount of time, he does seem to just start looking around. start raining. Uh, yeah. Apparently storms are, okay, I think you got a whiff of it now. Storms are apparently, all right, we're just going to move out of this area real quick and see. Oh, no, he spotted it. He spotted it. He had the 11th hour sniff. <laughs> and that's why I'm on the lodge. I was going to go to this other area. You know, what I need maybe is little, uh, if you said, how could you do a better job marking it? Oh, the way people do it is they get that orange tape and tie it. All right, that cell phone's gotta be around here somewhere. And if you said, where's he going? He's going back to hunt the old fall because he's had a lot of luck finding stuff over there. I can just go this way and then we'll come back. Molly just bit my foot. Yeah. Oh, and no, I want, you, I want you to see her doing it, watch. That, if she said, what is that? That's her driving me forward. Or stopping me, one. <laughs> Probably stopping me. And possibly just blatantly attacking me. <laughs> one of those. Oh, yeah, the pond looks a lot fuller. It definitely wasn't all the way up to here. You see what happened, though? As soon as that dog did it, that dog did it, too. That's how they are. That's that training called uh, do as I do training. My training is called do as I look. I know it sounds very similar, but I made up the name right the day after I saw their training, but that's just a coincidence. <laughs> All right, so let's go back. Oh, I was gonna do the silent recall too. He didn't really get far enough away, but. If you said, well, what do you have to have the silent recall? Leave everything out but the verbal. Leave everything out but the verbal. So I'll show you. You've got your pager. I'm set on zero. You've got your movement and you've got the treat. You just don't have the, uh, you don't have the verbal, so. All right, well, let's just stay on. Boom, there's my pager. So, it was the exact same. If you said to the dog, did she even notice she didn't even say anything? He'd say no. All right, watch one more time. Boom. If, if there's no actual boom type situation to your training, that's not good. All right, let's see if we can find this phone. All right, now I should be taking account if my friend Tim's watching. He's like, oh, check your wind, lady, check your wind. And you should always know which way the wind is blowing. And you should try to get that dog downwind from whatever it is you're trying to find. Okay, it's got to be up here somewhere. He uh, seems like he's already kind of looking. So I just do the thing. I kind of pat my pocket like that means something's lost. He's got to be around here somewhere. Okay, he's kind of starting to sniff around. He seems to have a pretty good nose. He seems to be able to find things pretty easily. Okay, Alright, so I, I think that my wind is going this way. So if it's around here somewhere. Who knows what he might find out there. Honestly, if this dog found that uh, two dog remote that those squirrels took. You guys that have been watching that long dropped one out in the he seems like he's on it now. Thinking. It's pretty deep in the grass. Okay, this is where you have to check your wind. Okay, 
so my wind's blowing that way. Theoretically, if I kind of get around in this area, he should be able to smell it. I really honestly forgot where I put it. <laughs> Thank God it was just a fake phone. Because he doesn't really have, if you said he's got a very specific cue to start looking, he really doesn't. Okay, the wind's coming this way. He really doesn't, but he just sort of has that behavior naturally. She said, what was that? Either really mean birds or squirrels. Okay, and so I've got to get him up. He's got to be, he's got to be here somewhere. Hi, Shelly. How's everything going? The beautiful, beautiful purple flower. It's all very all idyllic. All right, if you can't find it here in a second, I'm going to just leave it for uh, a later. Because honestly, I don't know where it was. I don't know where it went. My, my best bet is just to walk back and forth, see if he smells it. You gotta sniff the flower. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure, girl, isn't it graduation? So everybody's getting their picture done. All he's got to do is catch a whiff of it. Oh, here comes Skylar. Here comes Skylar. Oh, oh, this is perfect. Look, he loves take off after Skylar. Watch. He'll go if that one goes. Skylar's just too fun to take off after. Because of his movements. Yeah, he's got a default, though. He came back by default. He's not going to be able to help himself, though. Hang on. We're just going to leave the phone for now. Because he's going to... I'm going to do it as a silent recall. He's going to try to go up to him. Watch. Yeah, he's got a default. Solo. Oh, how awful. All right, watch. Boom. Now he's finding something. He's trying. Yay. Yes, graduation. I see that all over Facebook. That's the only way I know what time of year it is. I have a lot of friends who are teachers. They're very, very happy when the school year ends and they start posting all kinds of crazy things about how they're going to spend their summer drinking wine and trying to recover from their last year. I might start looking. Skylar's looking for us. He just take some time to find us. He doesn't really know how to track that good. If he said, I don't know, he seems like he's doing it now. They don't really understand, they don't really under, they don't understand the dog is blind. They just see it as it has crazy movements. <laughs> and they notice that stuff. It has strange body language, that's what they notice. Just leave him alone. Solo, on the other hand. I think that's where you have to start, though. You have to say, how much of the dog can I control with movement? How much of that can I augment with the pager? And how much of that can I augment with my actions? How much can I augment with my voice? How much can I augment with the food? If I put all those together, I'm not even... I'm more than a triple threat. I'm a quadruple threat. All right, he's going to go back for that fish watch. He remembers the fish because of the smell only. Because of the smell only. That's it. He remembers it's imprinted in his mind. And if you sit solo, solo. That bulldog didn't smell it though, I'll tell you that much. That bulldog did, because that bulldog was playing right there last night. And I thought about that and I said, oh good, maybe raccoons came and got it and ate it. The raccoons are like, to hell with you lady, we're not eating that dead fish. Obviously. He's, he's thinking about it. Anyway, I ordered my smooth camera stabilizer thing. Yeah, I think it's going to be very exciting. It's going to be very exciting. According to this thing, unless I can't figure it out. Because you have to plug the phone in. It's got a battery pack and everything, though. 
And then there's like all these different things. You have to upload some app or something. Oh, God. I mean, download some app or something. Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry, my character got her line messed up. <laughs> Let's go back one more sweep and see if we can find this phone. It is Monday, I think. Oh, and Quay and Akeem can't come to work today. They had to go to their cousin's graduation in South Carolina. I'm like, okay. Wait till the last minute to tell me. How's oh, everybody? Anyway, these plants here are awful. If you wonder what those stickers all over me all the time, it, that's them. Okay. Apparently, wherever it is, it's... Oh, I see it. It's just right there. It's right there. I see it now. Let's just see if he gets a... And I think, you know, with this, you'd have to say the only thing it has to go on is the scent. I think you would want him to think you're in on that thing, you know? If you're always trying to make him not get food and stuff... Uh, yeah, they definitely don't think you're in on that. I think he's looking now. So why would he be looking over there? Because that's the way the wind was blowing. That's the way the wind was blowing. But yeah, that, I thought about that last night because I said that bulldog didn't seem to notice that fish there last night. I think he's looking now. He's sniffing. Uh, so that's why I thought the fish was gone, but it's not. He's looking now. It's pretty deep in the grass, too. It is hard for them to find stuff. All right, he's going along that edge now. You know, and that's what I think we have to say to ourselves. If you said, where is he going? The thing's... Yeah, he's pretty close. Okay, sitting around on top of it. No, the chance of them finding it then is not that good. All right, we'll come back later. We'll let the scent sit a little while. O M. All right, watch. Silent recall. Boom. All driving, and that's, that's what people need to write down. Am I trying to get the dog to come to me, or am I driving it in my direction? And which of those two sounds like it would be faster? Which sounds like it would be faster, trying to get it to come to you, or driving it in your direction? It already, if it believes it wants to go in your direction anyway, and you're driving it that way, you're going to get more speed. I mean, that's, that's just... Makes sense. All right, I'm going to put this flashlight back out here, too. Wait till he's not looking. All right, I'm going to put it right there. All right, look, watch, watch, watch. Silent recall. Boom. Yeah. The only part that's missing is the words. But the page is the words. So these people irk me. Watch, I can add my nick now too. Watch, watch, watch. Yeah, there's my default. I'm gonna add my verbal with my nick though, because that's kind of my job. Well, who knows what else he might find out here? I need to take him in the back. The squirrel factory back there. See what those squirrels have done with my remote. Oh, look, Solo found a dumbbell. Casper's going to want to get it, though. Casper's going to want to get it, and she's not going to want him to get it. He's not going to be able to stand it. And she knows it, too. Look, he's... Oh, no, I knew that wasn't going to work. I can get her away from it, though. Sala! Sala! Yay! And then Casper gets it. I page him. Yay! Oh, she's looking around for it. She didn't know what happened. She didn't realize we teamed up to get rid of it. And she don't know what happened to it. Look at her. She's like, well, it's got to be here somewhere. Surely those two didn't get rid of it that fast. Yeah. She didn't know what happened to it. 
He's fast. He's fast. Yeah, she can't understand what. Where did it go? It was, it was just here. She loves these things. That's Benjamin's mother. She's just out of coat right now. No, she doesn't know what happened to it. And if you said, why does she keep looking? They do have a lot of memory. They are, they are. Selective breeding for any kind of work does involve dogs that have more memory. And if you said, why? Well, because the dogs that had more memory are more successful. <laughs> you don't forget the things. They learn faster. And they learn faster and they retain the stuff longer. And I walk so I can just walk along and drop it. And she saw it, she was like, damn, it just reappeared. Let's go back this way. It's so nice out today. It's supposed to start pouring down rain though, so. I'm gonna go get Parker out next, Mandy, if you're there. Yeah, but this dog is not gonna say to itself, I don't remember that she wasn't saying words. I mean, we were communicating. What do you mean? That's like saying, you mean you don't actually talk to him, you just text with him all day? Yeah, uh-huh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I do. That's what I do. Needed like three more feet of rain. It is a lot higher though. Because before it was down to where that fish right there is. That's where it was at. You guys I'm gonna run and grab Parker real quick I'm gonna leave the flashlight and the phone out there and let it unless it rains I don't know how I'm sure that would have some effect on it but uh, that might be interesting might be interesting all right watch silent recall boom Yay. Yay. I've already got the behavior if I've already got the behavior that's like saying <sighs> This, this is, if the dog, maybe if you gave him a choice, if you said, well, do you prefer voice call or text? Oh, no, text me, text me, text me. Just text me. And that's me. I understand now how people turn into the just text me people. That's who I turned into. Before, I wasn't like that. Call, chat, you up, blah, blah, blah. Not anymore. Text me, text me. You know, so I think that's what we have to think of. If that's the, you know, if we're given two choices, you know, physical control by virtue of a leash and voice commands. Or, text, text me, text me. <laughs> Hi, Jerry. Hi, Jill. Uh, I'll be right back, you guys, with Paca. The episode's called Paca. He's a monster. <laughs> and he's like, no.